Welcome back to you live now from Fox, everybody. We are continuing our coverage as nearly every day we have brought you inside of the courtroom of the Kim Potter trial going on in Minneapolis, Minnesota. She is the former Brooklyn Center police officer facing manslaughter charges in the death of Dante Wright. The incident happened earlier this year on April 11th. Well, prosecutors called more witnesses yesterday and uh, they were uh, continuing to testify as uh, police are trying to determine how she mistook her gun for her taser when she sh when she fatally shot the 20 year old Dante Wright. So looking back on what we saw yesterday as well as what we can expect today, we're going to head out to Minneapolis, Minnesota live where Fox 9's Bill Keller is joining us with the latest. Bill, good morning to you. It's been a really uh, jam packed day in court each and every day. I would say yesterday we uh, heard from two officers, one of them being the commander. So what can you tell us this morning? Yeah, well, this trial is now entering basically its second week, seven days of testimony. Prosecutors are still going to continue to call witnesses to the stand today. Of course, they are trying to convince the jury that that former cop uh, was reckless and criminally negligent when she pulled her gun instead of her taser. Now, as you mentioned, there were those two higher ranking members of the Brooklyn Center Police Department. Uh, they took the stand testifying yesterday specifically about her training uh, and they talked about the department policies, some of their protocols, also the oath that officers take to uh, swore and uphold. Uh, Potter, of course, as you say, charged with those two counts of manslaughter for the uh, deadly traffic stop. Recall he was resisting arrest at the time that he was taken into custody. He had an outstanding warrant. Uh, but on cross-examination, Potter's attorney actually highlighted uh, that her a client, their client had the right to use force. In fact, some of those who were on the stand were actually her fellow officers, and some of them actually came out somewhat sympathetic towards the defense, even though they are witnesses for the state. Now, Bill, I feel like the main question is in this trial, when are we expected to hear from Kim Potter herself? I know she is expected to testify in her own defense. Yeah, they dangled that fact from the very beginning during jury selection. Now, as the prosecution wraps up, unlike the first couple days of the trial that were filled with all this emotional testimony, uh, much of this week, as we've been talking about, a lot of expert witnesses, it can get technical, it can get dry. That would likely change. Dante Wright's father, we're told, expected to take the stand before the state rests its case, and then it will be the defense's turn. That could happen this week. Uh, they're, still, of course, trying to convince this jury that this was a tragic accident. Potter expected to take the stand in her own defense by the end of the week. Again, keep in mind, the clock is ticking. The judge here, uh, Regina Chu, uh, she is hoping to have a verdict before Christmas, so the defense is hoping to wrap up fairly quickly. All right. Well, Fox 9 Minneapolis' Bill Keller, thank you so much for joining us here this morning, keeping us up to speed. And you stay warm out there. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks.